Hello, I'm Dr. Sahana Ramesh Thambat. I'm founder and managing director at Mangal Homeopathy in Research Center. I'm having one and a half decade of experience as a practicing homeopath. I'm specialized in homeopathic pediatrics and dermatology and I've impacted 2 lakh people till now with homeopathy to heal themselves and recover in their life. Looking at the paraphernalia, you can come to know that today is going to be a bit lengthy discussion but homeopathy has a wonderful scope in terms of uh, the lactating mothers and the children who are in this particular phase. All right. So the most commonly browsed and uh, used medicine is ricinus in tincture form wherein it helps in terms of improving the circulation and then improving the formation of the blood. But that is not the only medicine what homeopathy has to offer. So uh, let's start with the uh, disease aspect of uh, the lactating uh, problems which occurs. It's usually cracked nipples or uh, because of the child bite or because of over usage or engorgement of the breast, mastitis and infection which follows because of that or a lack of secretion of the milk as such. So at every stage homeopathy has an answer and uh, the medicines are very smooth and gentle and doesn't uh, disturb the equation of the mother and the child. There is a thin equilibrium which connects uh, during that uh, breastfeeding time both the mother and the child. So the problems of the mother and treatment for her doesn't stop the production of the milk and that affects the child in turn. So that homeopathy takes care. So good medicines like uh, Phytolaca, Bryonia, Calcarea are helpful in terms of uh, disease associated with the breast and the nipple and for recovery of it in very swift manner and uh, also in terms of improving the breast milk secretion. So what I have here is uh, usually what you'll see with a lactation consultant and uh, what actually happens behind the physics or the very uh, equilibrium which happens from the delivery room and to the pediatrician's table where the lactation problem usually happens or it takes place during this journey. So the breast milk comes in a bit slow like two to three days and the awareness is what uh, is not being told to the new mother if she is uh, giving birth for the first time. She would not know stress, guilt and pressure is the most common food the mother chooses to eat herself uh, during this process. Probably she would need a better positioning, can get better relief so that the child can uh, catch properly and have a suckling effect so that it doesn't uh, physically uh, disturb the child and the mother. So small things like in terms of massaging the breast is definitely important before feeding or probably during so improve the blood flow. The most commonly undervalued or uh, not uh, genuinely practiced is kangaroo mother care. So it has a healing benefit to both mother and the child. So there is no race in terms of you know I need to feed once in two hours and I need to produce that much of milk and uh, because you are the only person who can do it and the, every other person can only force you to do that but this stressful period is what actually the mother undergoes and this itself is sufficient to probably skip a feed or probably over pump you know we have so many beautiful things in the market which will help you but maybe this just uh, you did not hydrate yourself you did not eat properly or the mother had uh, anemia which was not been treated or the child was not well was away from you in NICU and did not latch properly after he comes back and the reconnection was difficult then you used uh, probably some nipple shields and that did not work out properly so all these things in all these circles what is missing is the demand and supply okay the child is not able to take it uh, is not able to empty the breast so there is no signal given to your brain the oxytocin and the production milk is usually is stopped so there is no demand there is no supply because of whatever reasons you can think of is the problem basically present so the medicines will give a kick start you know medicines will give a little bit of boost but probably the whole thing would definitely be much better if all these things are being expected you are aware of it and you are able to manage so typically six months is the time when if not early if not soon after the birth maybe three month mark or six month mark is usually when mothers will be looking up for some medicines which is going to improvise the lactation primary this happens because you have already started weaning your child you are giving uh, food and the child is already starting to uh, not like the taste of the milk is a bit more independent is going away from you is able to experience the other things is interested in other things 
also but still yet demand some milk from you so this irregularity of the feeding patterns also get into a phase of lack of milk so along with the medicines there are definitely other things which is going to be helpful for you in terms of the pumping the breast pumps are the ones which is going to improvise in terms of uh, the mimicking uh, probably uh, what the infant would do and empty the breast so whatever you do this demand and supply has to be maintained and homeopathy is having an excellent medicine for your specific needs probably there's a stress that's why you are not able to secrete milk uh, there is a fear that you are not able to secrete milk probably you started to go back to work and the travel takes a toll on you that's not working so you are having some digestive problem so that is not falling in the equation to be a lactating mother who's gone back to work so in all every stages it will be helpful for the mother with homeopathic medicines not only that there's also a thing which comes in known as the child refusal to feed even though there is good milk which is been stacked up but the child is not able to take because the child is not able to bond probably because whatever you are sensing fear stress anger the child is able to communicate when he or she is at your breast so that also can be tackled with homeopathic medicines very beautifully so the system which involves two people can be taken care sometimes even just by single medicine given to mother which reaches the child through breastfeeding breast milk so this is how homeopathy is still uh, not explored or untapped in terms of territory of lactation and uh, it has answers to all the problems in terms of lactation